What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today I'll be playing ranked. I'm on my alt account because I don't feel like playing on my main account because it is still at number one. So we'll just be playing on this account. Uh, I switched to mono growth in this account now, so now I have uh, two mono growth ranked decks, one for each account, and two mono order decks. Because I don't want I didn't want to really tree over mine, I wanted to get in full another deck. So that's why I have not that much gold on my alt account. On my main account I still have like fifty-five thousand though, so that's good. And uh while I'm waiting here, I guess it would be a good time to update you on some stuff that happened this week. Um first of all, my uh I wrote an article for the Badger Chronicle, TBG Chronicles, it's on Scrolls Guide. Uh, the article is all about sacrificing scrolls. I gave everybody my insight and general, like everything about sacking scrolls. I I gave my opinion on when you should do it, how it should be done, and all that stuff, so you could check that out. It was volume two of the Badger Chronicle. Volume one was done a week before by Blinky about judgment. So have a read at that uh, if you would like. And also, um, I was in the last uh badger cast the heart of scrolls podcast with the overlord color plant and smogan was hosting and ice cream did all the uh visuals and technical stuff so that was awesome uh we got a healthy 60 viewers uh on the twitch stream at once so that was pretty cool and you can check that out on youtube now and uh we even got to leak uh previews of two new cards so I highly recommend that. It is a fun watch, and I'll have links to both of those things in the description. So yeah, that's what I wanted to mention. And on this channel, I'm going to try my best to upload more. I'll try to go for daily or every other day videos, and the quality might go down a little bit, like I might not have all my intros or outros, but I don't think that's really what people are here to see. I think they're here to see the number one ranked player play scrolls. So that's what I'm gonna be trying to do. And my goal is to get this account as close as possible to this account as, uh, as I can. Nerp and Nerp together. All right. So first things first, I have to pass Gamak Me Maybe, which is uh, one of Blinky's alternate accounts. If you don't know, Blinky is also Glorfindel, and he's not the beard, which is, I don't think it's the top 100, but that's because he plays energy in that account. Alright, come on. Find me a ranked match, please. Alright. So, in the meantime, I could show you my mono growth deck. You know what? I'm gonna be going for three answers to show them, so I think that'd be cool. Because it's very good against DK answers. So I'm not sure what to take out. Maybe a Mangy Wolf? Yeah, Mage Wolf's coming out. Alright, so that's going to be on a growth. And this is my current on order. Not perfect. I like it versus growth, though, because of the Ducal Spearman. The Pothers and the Flips. That's nice. So let's see what we can get. Morgs. I'm going second. Disadvantage. And we got a pretty bad starting hand because we have a god hand and a quake and a mage is not that useful. But the vetter should be good. And he gets a turn and he gets decay. This is pretty terrible. Growth versus decay, he has the advantage, at least I think. And all these cards are pretty bad. Except for vetter. I guess veteran's good for mid game, but uh, I'll sack the god hand. I'm not going to play the vetter because he's just going to move down and kill the next time. So this was pretty bad. Alright. And he gets to the dark one. Um I got a great wolf. I guess I could just keep the mangy then. Um I'll place the I could place Vetter again now in case I get a four drop coming. Then I could play the four drop next turn. Or sack and get a three drop. I'm not going to play the better now. I'd rather play it next turn. 
and then I'll be able to play the Great Wolf or Veteran the turn after. I want to give the person him as little time as possible to kill that uh, Veteran, like with a Brain Laser or a Soul Steel or a Return to Nature. So many things that the Decay Fighter can do to destroy it. So I'll try to hold off. And a Harvester. So now if I Quake later, it might be bad. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and play the... Uh, veteran. Right, so next turn, I'll play either the veteran or the great wolf, and um, right now, sack for scrolls. So hopefully, he didn't get anything to play. No, we got tries. Okay. Uh, crimson bull. Hmm. I'll sack it. Veteran or Great Wolf? I'll go with the Great Wolf so I can make you next turn. I uh, wish I sacked Crimson Ball. I could have done a Mangy Crimson Ball and maybe been able to kill that Harvester. Well, not anymore because now the Veteran's dead. Darn. Okay, um. I could still have fun. I'm gonna sack the quake now. I'll still uh, have fun with it. Now I could go too, but now this harvester is close to attacking. I have a veteran and a breaker. So that's good. Any languids. Uh, he languids that one because. Great Wolf will die in three turns. Um, goodbye, Breaker. Hello, Owls. Um, So now, the plan is, hope he doesn't have a return to nature. I just don't want him to be able to destroy th two things. No return to nature, and he doesn't, because he moved everything up. Good. If he had to return to nature, then he would be able to destroy those two, and then harvester down this lane. And Devon Curse on that guy, I'm not too mad about. I mean, hell, I don't like it, but it's not a huge deal. Double veteran, sucks off to sack one of them. And we get a Vetter. Alright, so. Um, I think I'm going to Veteran to kill. I know the Harvester's gonna go off. I'm with the Great. The Great Wolf's dead, anyways, to Infectious Blight. You know, I don't want the Infectious Blight to stay. So. Or no. I was thinking about maybe, yeah, I'll move this guy, uh, there then. Um, and then I hope he doesn't have a, uh, I'm trying to him for that. I moved the Great Wolf up and just didn't want to attack Middle Idols because now it will soften up the damage if the Harvester tries to attack it, and this thing is going to die at next turn anyways. And I'd rather him get rid of the infectious blight, that'd be awesome. But he's too smart for that. So that plan backfired. <laughs> then backfired just doesn't matter at all. Mangy. Uh, ooh, you have a rat king and the god hand next turn. Uh, fantastic. Um, good. Now. I feel like I'm going to have to. Uh, I'll just. I'm not gonna put damage on um that because he's that's dead to a one attack god handed thing. And I think I'm gonna need units to be here. Okay. So now let's see what he does. Right now, we will god hand next turn, either do idle damage, 
or hopefully kill that harvester if he doesn't put anything there. Um, we can't like do. Alright, so now we can still kill the harvester with a god hand. Good. Uh, I'll sack the breaker because Crimson Bowl is so good. So now 3-3-3 three, three, and three kills the harvester. And then I just need... Uh, this is actually really tough to get this. I want to kill the Oblivion Seeker too, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. What is it? Infectious Plate anyways. You have Infectious Plate, so I'll put you in the front. Um, I have to have 3-3-3, three, three, and three, so... But I want this guy to be in back so I can destroy that, but that's not going to happen. Um... Yeah, I can't do it. I have to. I'm trying to be able to destroy these three and this guy. And the husk. I could do it if just these two were in switched places. But they're not, so. I will have to uh, do it this way. Who's, who's, you're, you're the one with infectious bite. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you kill one of my guys. Just don't draw many cards, please. Because I don't want to draw any cards. But I'm not, I'm not gonna kill it. we can get another god hand a rally play fair and soul steel okay fertile soil goodbye infectious blight and hello rats uh i haven't seen a Return to nature from him yet, but he could very well use it. So I am a little bit worried. Ah, why did I move him to the front? I, I was, I was kind of a bad play. I should have uh, the guys that weren't not the best play, but whatever. So now I should be able to either god hand or something next turn. But fallback option, I have an interest in, in my hand. And he languids. And curse Alright, I don't know how I'm gonna break into that fortress he has there. It's gonna be tough. Um Sack the Crimson, I think. And we have more stuff. I think I'll go totem. Ah, he still has zero attack, darn. And a brother. Uh, yeah, totem and a brother, so you can go there. Alright, so now he's more cards. Hopefully he doesn't have like a double return to nature. I need a god hand, like now. I already sacked a god hand early and I already used a god hand. So that is not good. The chances of me getting another god hand are slim, as I've only gone through almost half of my deck. So maybe I and I already just sacked a Crimson Bowl, I sacked at least one rally, so. I sh probably shouldn't have sacked that last Crimson Bowl. Uh, this is not that good. Uh, he'll be able to kill two things if he wants this turn. He has seven resources, four cards. I didn't even, I wasn't even able, to get, even able to get his idols that low. I think Morgs has this game. Alright, so that rat is dead, and he's going to try to attack the brother of the wolf, it looks like. Maybe, I don't know. He's going to try to attack the brother of the wolf. Now he's going to destroy both rats. 
Ah, all right, this is not good. I need a quake. I need like a double quake. Um, yeah, this game's over, especially since I don't have stuff. Uh, Crimson Bull. Zach's brother. I guess I'll go brave, brave. Kill you. You have, you're gonna go for five. There's three there. Ugh. I guess I'll just play with you then. But you're still gonna be able to kill this thing. I don't want. Darn. Not gonna work. I'll go for the brave. I'll go for this. Now you're, you're supposed to move him and move him down and just kill him. Or you like Necker and win next turn. Yeah, this game's over. Let's go brave, brave up top. And then I'm gonna lose. Alright, well. This is pretty much GG. I, I'm not upset with how I played. I just think he got a better draw than me. And also, I mean, Decay generally beats growth anyways. So. He doesn't actually win with a Necro. If he has to watch a Necro, he probably wins. Um, yeah. Alright. And what are you going to do? Huh. Alright. So the only thing I could possibly like revive me now if I get like a double rat king and then I draw a god hand. Or actually I have to have a quake before that. <laughs> Which wouldn't even do that good. Especially if he plays like a curses. That's interesting. What is he gonna brainless or something? No. Interesting why he cursed that person would just kill the rat. Uh ooh, sister of the owl. It's not bad. I'll sack a great wolf. Uh Play, uh... All right, I'll go ahead and box. I can go. So double sister of the owl. Um, I don't know. I'm just closing down my guys now. I don't know what I'm doing, but I feel like you can do a lot of damage, especially with those minor shamblers. And there's four, three attack guys coming this turn. If I can just get a rally. That would be good. I also have another Sister of the Owl and a Sister of the Fox, so I can fill up my board even though he's killing my board right now. Okay, but as soon as he gets a Harvester out, then it's gonna be very hard. And, or another uh, Witch Doctor. I have to find a way to take out that Witch Doctor. It doesn't look like he's leaving any idols open, so I'm not, if I'm gonna win this game, it's going to be because I was able to get rid of his creatures. Alright, if that's his turn, I'm glad if that's all he can do. Come on. Please be it. And... Come on. He's holding on to that like a ripper right now. Debating whether or not I should play it. Nope. Alright. So. Now... I'm going for the creatures. So now I'm probably just going to, ooh, we have a Rally Crimson Bolt, but, and then we can at least kill some things. Uh. If I rally, I can't do much. No, I can't. I can go Ragged Wolf, Rally Crimson. Let's see. What would be the point in doing that? I don't know. So I'll just go ahead and play the Sister of the Fox and Sister of the Owl. Alright, well, time's ticking and to lose soon. Let's see if he can keep up keep up the killing of my board. Up, oh, he's going to watch again now, probably, yes. Alright. So he I don't think he's gonna be able to win this turn. Because my idols are still pretty good and I have a lot of creatures blocking, but he will be able to 
have fun destroying my creatures. The good thing about a Watcher Geddon is that I can quake and play the board. Or almost no score because that Watcher is going to have one health. What does he decide to do? Okay, so now he's going to go the route to put two of my idols down. At one health. Probably the smart thing to do because that means he wins with a couple of oil dark ones or doing another necro. Gun. So, uh, ragged better rally crimson does not save me here. I really need to. Uh, I really need to um, get a quick. I got a quick. And that could have killed me. I wasn't surprised that I still have that. Okay. Good. <laughs> Alright, well he's still gonna win. I don't think I don't see how he, he won't win this. Um now I'm going to go ahead and Vetter And then I'll move you up, I'll move you up. And then I'll brag it. I probably should have ragged that with the so I can just have a little one extra damage with my idol. Okay, so he just needs two little darklings or almost anything to win. Uh he played one all little darkling already. Infectious blight and a harvester. Okay, so the harvester is going to have a three countdown because he's gonna end. Okay, um I have to fill up my board fast so I can god hand because I haven't. I've also rallied some people. Uh, I can go with a rally crimson bull brave and then I kill that and then I kill that. And I need a four damage medal. But that's not what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna do that. Uh, I'm going to hope for something. Good. That is actually what I wanted. That's very good. Okay. I'll go with the Ancestral Tunnel. And then I'll bring this down. And then I'll wreck it. Alright. So that at least protects if he just Necrogeddons and destroys an idol. Like, like if he has a Darkling Necrogeddon, he wins the game. If he has a Watcher Necrogeddon, he probably wins the game also. So if he doesn't though, I'm still in it because I can, I can rally, I can Ragged Wolf, Ragged Wolf, Rally Crimson. Up. Oh. Or no, Actually, not yet at least. If he doesn't protect his idols, I have a chance at winning this game. Alright. Can I win? Let's see. If I rally Crimson at 7, okay, I can go double ragged. That would be 4 attack and 4 attack. Let's see. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have to go 4, 4, and then one of those. And then 1, 2, 3. That doesn't win it, I don't think. I don't think it wins the game. Because. Um, I would need. I would need this guy to. One, two, three. Yeah, I wouldn't win the game because I need to. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Let's see. One, two, three, all right, I'm gonna just do this. This is what I'm going to do. And it's going to be kind of bad, but it's what I'm going to do. Um, so he just needs like something to win. 
I, I could have put that at one health. I was very close putting that one health. So. GG if he has like a soul steal. Because then he could just soul steal his Darkling and wipe through that row. GG if he has a Necrogun too. Damn it, first. Oh, damn it, first. Also, GG. Alright, well, that was a fun match. I played my best. Uh, I don't regret anything I did that match, so it was just. He just drew better, and I'm satisfied with the match. So I thank you all for watching. I'll try to go daily uploads now, and make sure you check out. The Heart of Scrolls podcast, link in the description, and my article I wrote for the Badger Chronicle earlier this week. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.